Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So I've been meaning to make this video for a while now. I just haven't gotten around to it until today. So today's video is actually going to be about how much it costs for me to basically do all the body work, the paint and all that stuff in this garage. Um, like the equipment I use, materials, what I have to buy, that kind of stuff. So I'll go over how much it costs um, to do that. As well as towards the end of the video, I'm actually going to be telling you guys how much I've spent on the car to date. This will include certain things that I haven't even installed on the car yet, which will be coming up in upcoming videos. So let's just get right to it. All right, guys. So first things first is everything going to be in Canadian dollar currency. So we'll start off with my JDM side markers. Um, the JDM side markers cost me $58 plus $3 for the bullet connectors and $6 for the heat shrink and $18 for the crimper tool to crimp the bullet connectors. So that totaled up to be $85 just to do the side marker. All right, next we have our beautiful clear corner. I totally miss when these things were actually cheap, but I paid $62 for this clear corner. All right, so next is my antenna. I need to replace it because my other antenna really was old and really worn out and it was aftermarket. Uh, this one is also aftermarket, but it has more of an OEM appearance to it. Um, this cost me $28. Um, I needed a new windshield molding as well. Um, I haven't had it installed yet because uh, I haven't replaced my windshield, but I will, um, which will increase the cost later. But the windshield molding itself cost me $48. All right, next up is the rocker panels. Um, the rocker panels for both sides cost me $147, um, as well as I needed additional sheet metal to do you know, other bodywork stuff, and that cost me $26. All right, next up is the EVA foam in the taillights. That cost me $12, as well as I had to replace the bumper mounts and the emblem and a few other little miscellaneous things. So I purchased those used for $40, as well as around the whole car, there's a whole bunch of miscellaneous clips and all that kind of stuff. You even have to replace some of the bolts in here. That cost me a total of $58 for all just clips and miscellaneous things like O-rings, um, you know, the, the fender washers, etc. So now to the onto the paint. How much the paint cost? The whole kit for the base coat and clear coat, that cost me $401. I used a whole bunch of POR15 on the car as well. That cost me $52 for the can, as well as I spent uh, for Plasti Dip, which I had to use for these areas here, uh, this trim, because it was all faded, and as well as this trim. The Plasti Dip cost me $25. So before we could even do base coat and clear coat, we needed to prime the surface, and I spent a lot on primer. I spent a total of $204 on primer. This would include Self-etching primer, Spraybox 2K epoxy primer, uh, weld through primer, adhesion promoter, and DTM primer. Um, as well as I needed to mask the surfaces and stuff for, prime, uh, for priming and painting. Uh, I spent a total of $130 on just masking. This would include masking tape, masking plastic, and masking paper. Next up is basically I need to spend on body filler. Body filler cost me $60. Um, the 3M rocker chip guard. That cost me $43. Um, the seam sealer, that cost me $30. Uh, wax and grease remover to clean surfaces, that cost me $20. Lacquer thinner cost me $38. Acetone, $14. As well as you needed to protect yourself. So the respirator cartridges cost me $55. Now the most important thing is basically we need a lot of sandpaper and sanding discs. That cost me a total of $60. The maroon scuff pads, that cost me $18. And as well as rust protection, which I used for, I guess, the inside rockers and everything. I used the fluid film, which cost me $34. Then I spent a whole bunch on basically miscellaneous things like, um, you know, paint filters, um, rust remover gel, foam paint brushes, the Stanley Sure Form, tack cloths, etc. As well as gloves, um, undercoating, and even double-sided tape. This cost me a total of $120 for like all those little miscellaneous things. All right, so next up is basically some of the equipment that I use, which was like the tools and stuff. So we'll start off with the Fuji system. Um, so with the Fuji system, with the pressure tubes and the gaskets and the 1.8 tip um, and the Semi Pro 2, of course, that cost me a total of $613. Then my welding equipment, which cost me $178, which will include the welder, the gloves, and the helmet. Then 
I also have angle grinder with grinding disc, which was really important in cutting metal and all that kind of stuff. That cost me $70. Then my trusty, trusty orbital sander that I used to sand whole car with, that was $53. Block sanders, $20. Auto body shaping tools, which is really, really important in shaping the sheet metal to form the body stuff. That was $39. My straight jaw seamer, which was used to bend metal, that's $20. The flanging tool that I used to flange metal and put it against the body so that I could weld, that was $31. My work stand, which I used to paint, $56. My sawhorse, which I also used to paint, $16. Um, my box fan with the 20 inch by 20 inch filters, that cost me $22. But that's just for one fan, I don't have the cost for the other fan. Um, and I lumped a whole bunch of other little things into miscellaneous tools, which was a total of $178. This, these tools which would include basically like the Bondo spreader, the center punch, the spot weld cutter, um, the, you know, the eraser wheel for the emblem adhesive, um, the adjustable C-clamp, um, wire brushes, you know, the 3M sponge pads and, you know, goggles, etc. That was a, that was all $178 in there. All right, so now on to basically some of the detailing stuff that I used for basically cut and polishing the whole paint of the car. So I used some M105 and M205. Um, that cost me $47. I also had to purchase M100 because I needed a more aggressive cut. That cost me $46. Then basically the buffing wheel, wool pads, and all that kind of stuff, that cost me $63. All right, so the grand total is $3,262. Um, I'm sure you guys can already see that as I'll have a tally in the video listing all the individual items and their costs um, as I'm going through them. I know it's a lot of money, um, but if you were to pay a body shop to do the same amount of work, it would be in the ballpark around $8,000 to $10,000 or even more. And all you body shop guys out there could actually vouch for that number because material and labor isn't cheap. At least in Canada, it's not. That's why a lot of these cars are or scrap because nobody wants to restore them. Um, but I actually really love these cars um, and I really wanted a black SI for a very long time until I came across this one, which actually just needed some rust repair and a full paint job. $3,262 later, it looks like this. So it's far from perfect, but every single person that sees it, you know, couldn't believe that I did this all in my own garage. So, I mean, I think it looks pretty dang good for what it is. And I'm pretty happy with the job. Now, you guys are probably wondering how much I spent in total on the whole car so far. The number's gonna be a little scary. I spent a total of $12,000 so far on the car, and that doesn't include all, I mean, that actually includes all the parts that I haven't installed yet, which I'll be doing in future videos. Um, you know, everything costs money. It's, it all adds up over time, right? I didn't expect to spend $12,000 on this car. Um, I actually budgeted $4,000 hoping to restore a whole EF for $4,000, but you know, that's dreaming because you know, parts, um, labor and all that kind of stuff, everything costs a lot of money. I didn't expect to do all this on my own, but I ended up doing it and it still cost me $12,000. So it's not cheap to build a car, but it never really is. You know, we always think it's going to be cheap to build a car and then it ends up blowing the budget. That's why I call them money pits. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.